In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your forgotten Windows Hello and password. Press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard. Then click on the power button and select Restart. Once you get to the Advanced Startup menu, click Troubleshoot, click Advanced Options, and then click on the command prompt. First, type C, colon, press Enter. Then type DOR command, which is used to list files and folders in the current directory, and hit Enter. Now we can see that this is the main system partition which has Windows users and program files folders. For example, if I repeat the same process for a DG drive, as you can see it's a system partition with the boot files. And if we try to access the F drive, which doesn't exist here, we'll get the system cannot find the drive specified. So it's pretty easy to find the main system partition. Next we need to get into the system theta folder, which contains U2 men and CMD files. I'm gonna type cd for change directory, windows, and press enter. Then again, cd, system32, enter. Now we need to rename these executable files using the ram command. Type ram, space, u2man.exe, space, u2man1.exe, and press enter. Type ram, cmd.exe, space, u2man.exe, and press enter. Close the command prompt and click continue. Now if you click on the accessibility button, the command prompt will appear on the screen. Or not, just like in my case. I don't have any reasonable explanation why it doesn't start instantly and just like in Windows 10, but anyway, simply wait for a minute and then restart your computer. And now it works. Next I'm gonna go ahead and type the following command. Control, space, user passwords to, and press enter. Basically have two options here. You can go to Microsoft's website and try to recover your account, or you can simply create a new local user account and you'll be able to get access to your data from another one. Go to the advanced tab, click advanced, double click on the users folder, then go to action and select new user. Name the new user account and check this box and click create. And then double click on that user Click on the Member of tab, Remove Users Group, and Add Administrators. And then restart your PC. Now click on your new user account, choose Privacy Settings, and click Accept. Now if you open up the File Explorer and go to the C drive, Users, you'll see your previous user account folder, which contains data from the desktop documents, downloads, etc. So, simply move your files to the new user folder. Once done, you can go ahead and remove the old account. Click Start, Settings, Accounts, Family and Other Users. Select the account you want to delete. Click Remove and click Delete Account and Datum. 